Hello everyone. If you are a hockey fan or just like sports, please like this video and subscribe to the Montreal Canadiens channel. By subscribing to the Montreal Canadiens channel, you will have access to all the latest news and updates. You will also receive notifications when new videos are available, so that you can stay up to date with everything that is going on with the team. Canadians were not the only team interested in Denis Gurionov. The Montreal Canadiens were able to secure a deal for the speedy Denis Gurionov on Sunday, but they weren't the only team in the mix. General manager Kent Hughes was eventually able to secure the services of Denis Gurionov in exchange for veteran Yevgeny Dadanov, as the Dallas Stars were looking to add some scoring punch to the lineup. However, they weren't the only ones kicking tires on Gurionov, who presented an interesting reclamation project to more than just the Canadians. In a recent segment of the 32 Thoughts podcast, NHL insider Elliot Friedman mentioned that there were a few teams circling in on Gurionov after the Stars had made him available. I think Philadelphia was in on Gurionov and some others too, I have no doubt, said Elliot Friedman regarding the market for Gurionov before landing in Montreal. In fact, there was no shortage of interested teams willing to take a flyer on Gurionov, but his $2.9 million cap hit and impending qualifying offer may have made for a more complicated trade with other suitors. Friedman mentioned that the Stars also held up trade talks with Gurionov over the last few months, as they were afraid of repeating the past and giving up on a player too soon. The Montreal Canadiens believe that they can unlock the potential that the Stars saw in Gurionov when they selected him 12th overall in the 2015 NHL draft. They've done a strong job in taking Kirby Doc and Jonathan Kovacevic along from Chicago and Winnipeg, and the Canadians are banking that their new-look development team is going to be able to help Gurionov become the dangerous middle six forward he was projected to be. But clearly, they weren't the only team that was ready to jump in and take a gamble on a player like Gurionov, who has an interesting toolbox. It's now up to head coach Martin St. Lewis to go to work. Hello Habs. What do you think about this negotiation? Do you think the Canadians will be able to unlock Gurionov's potential and help him become a dangerous middle forward? Leave your comment below and join the discussion. Thanks.